YouTube, it's your boy Jeremy is coming at you guys with another video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload a new video, and make sure you guys click all the links in the description down below. Now, each of those links for my 2K guys, I got all the build links down there below. If you guys wanted to see how I made a build, simply click one of those links and I will definitely it will definitely be in there for you guys. Also, if anybody's interested in my vlogs, I got those there. If you guys want to see how my personality is in real life, check out some of my vlogs. And also, got some Amazon links on there, guys. If you guys want to support the channel by getting a PSN card or just getting any of the same gaming equipment that I have, click those links, purchase it through the Amazon link, and you'll be supporting my channel. Now, straight into today's video, guys. Now, if you guys don't know, I made a sharpshooting facilitator build, guys. My demi guy sharpshooter. Um, currently, right now, I do have 15 out of 30 shooting badges, and I'll show you guys what the shooting badges are simply right here. Um, now, this is not on my actual player. This is just in the build tester, so I'm able to just freely uh, take off the upgrades as I want. Cause, I, like I said, guys, I only have 15 out of 30 upgrades. So, um, uh, I think this is what I. Oh yeah. So this is what my upgrades are looking like right here, guys. These do come out to 15 upgrades, which is halfway to 30. So that's why I wanted to make a video on this to show you guys this. Now, um, this is what it's looking like. I have Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hall of Fame Quick Draw, Hall of Fame Range Extender. Then I have Bronze Hot Zone Hunter, Bronze Volume Shooter, and then I just equipped it, uh, Bronze Difficult Shots. Now, guys, basically what I want to do for you guys is talk about each and every single badge and um, how effective it is uh, just as a badge in general. Um, so let's get straight into it. Now, the first badge, guys, the first badge is catch and shoot. It's pretty self-explanatory. For a short time after receiving a pass, the receiver's outside shooting attributes get a significant boost. And um, just to pause really quickly, guys, the reason why I'm just making this video now is because even though I already had my two-way, three-level facilitator, link in the description how to make that build, even though I already had made that build from the very beginning of the year, there's just been so much content that I've been uploading, like just different ideas. Um, whoa, hold on here. Let's pause. All right, y'all. So as I was saying, man. Um, yeah. Right back to the, right back to the video. I, you know, it was a little interrupted by a little call, but we back now. Catch and shoot is pretty self-explanatory. After receiving the pass or whatever, the receiver outside shooting attributes get a significant boost. So basically whenever you catch the ball wide open you get a boost now guys um it doesn't matter what build what uh what build you are what position you are this is what catch and shoot works the best on guys i have a shooter so i know this for a fact um you if you guys don't really want to believe me too much I, you can check out uh 2k lab videos they do videos on all the badges that people are, like they probably haven't they probably haven't done all of them but they got to a good amount of them and um, there's no really, there's no big difference between silver catch and shoot and Hall of Fame. So go silver, guys. If you want to use catch and shoot, go silver. Now, next badge, clutch shooter. It's pretty simple, guys. What this badge does is in the fourth quarter, um, it raises your chances of making shots. You know, you turn it on Michael Jordan. So if you're playing rec and you have 30 upgrades and you want to use clutch shooter, go on right ahead. I, would, I wouldn't even say use this on rec. I would say use this on team pro-am because that's more likely where you'll be in a close game. Because there's more competition on Team Pro Am. The rec is usually filled with bots. And even when there's pretty decent teams, they don't have any real chemistry. So, yeah, if you're going to use this badge, use it on Hall of Fame so you can get the most effect from it. You don't want to just have it on like silver or something. Um, you can go gold. Even if you want to, you can go gold. But I say if you really want to have this badge be fully effective, use it on Hall of Fame. Now, uh, same thing with Quarter Specialist. It's kind of like catch and shoot. Um, all of it is just. Uh, uh, deep mid ranges in the corner and three pointers in the corner alongside the baseline you get a boost for it um silver is perfect you don't need hall of fame catch and shoot i mean corner especially silver is just as good as uh hall of fame now same thing with or not same thing with dead eye but dead eye um it just helps with when defenders are closing out on you so i say this is a hall of fame if you're going to use this badge just go hall of fame um it'll be extremely effective at hall of fame uh, if people are not right up under you when you're shooting, it's going to be really hard for them to stop you from making your shots. Um, deep fades, post fadeaways taken from uh, far from the basket receive less of a distance penalty. So um, yeah, uh, this is another badge where Hall of Fame, if you just want it to be as effective as possible, guys. Um, especially, this is more so for the 
people that have 30 upgrades. If you have 30 upgrades, you want to go Hall of Fame for these badges. If you don't have 30 upgrades, then you can go go for a badge like um, these badges right here. You want to go go for them if you don't have 30 upgrades. But if you have 30 upgrades or at least 20 plus, then um, I'd say that uh, Hall of Fame for these would be pretty good. So um, yeah, that's what I'll say for those badges. Um, now for the next row, difficult shots. Uh, at one point. Uh, in the beginning of the year, difficult shots was OP, like before anybody even really started unlocking the badge. So 2K had to patch it. Um, and then, you know, it was for some odd reason, gold difficult shots used to work better than Hall of Fame. But I'm pretty sure they patched it now. And so it's back to um, Hall of Fame being pretty good. So if you're going to use difficult shots, use it on Hall of Fame. It's nowhere near as OP as it used to be in the past. And I know this for sure because I've had a shot creator every single year in 2K. And um, this year, they kind of just been messing around with it a little bit. So it's been a little bit like back and forth. But if you're going to use it, use it on Hall of Fame. Now, flexible release. Um, I would say to not use this badge at all. Now, this is the first badge that I would tell you guys don't even waste any upgrades on it. Because it really doesn't activate much at all. And for it to even really activate, you'd have to shoot a really bad release. Like nearly a bounce back. And no one's going to shoot those unless they're lagging. So, I mean, unless you have really bad connection and you're used to playing on it or something, then I guess you could just go Hall of Fame flexible. But other than that, I'm pretty sure no one's going to sit there and play 2K with super bad connection. It'll be impossible. So, don't use this badge at all. Now, the next badge, Green Machine. You want to use this on Hall of Fame. Why? Because it literally uh, helps you make, get more greens. It's just that simple. In the beginning of the year, a lot of people, including myself, thought this badge was useless and it was pointless to have a badge like this. But... Once people started equipping it, you just automatically got more greens. Now, when uh, before they did a patch on this badge, you were able to just get greens from anywhere, but it got fixed. It's a little bit more logical now. So this badge is like one of the most important badges. Now, Hot Start is also another badge where um, you this is this badge is good enough on um, silver. Now, I looked at the video from 2K Lab, and it's literally not any difference from um, it's only like a 0.5% difference from silver to hall of fame so um yeah and the thing about this badge is once you miss once you miss a shot this badge is gone so if you make your first shot the badge will be activated and you'll be able to, you know it'll help you boost your shot once you miss a shot the badge is gone so this badge is only good for park it's only good for park don't use it in proam or rec or anything like that because once you miss then that badge is gone for the whole game and that's just two upgrades that you could have used elsewhere Hot Zone Hunter. I say use this badge on Hall of Fame, guys. It's pretty simple. If you have skill in 2K and you're going to get your hot zones and you make your shots over the course of 25 games, then have this on Hall of Fame. It doesn't matter what you're playing. Have this on Hall of Fame. It gives your player a shot boost. Anything that gives your player a shot boost, you want to use. Ice and Veins, obviously, guys, um, don't use this badge at all because you don't need this. Even when you're in a close game in the rec, you don't need this because if you have a good free throw or just a good release timing, you're gonna make your free throws like I have a lockdown defender with a step cray release and I literally make all green free throws so don't use ice and veins at all another badge pick and popper do not use if you're a big man you do not you, you do not need this at all um no one's gonna really run the pick and pop game anyways but if you want to use it I say just leave it on bronze don't even don't even go further than having it on bronze you really do not need this badge at all um another badge pump fake maestro uh, the only time I would suggest anybody to use this badge is if you're on the 1v1 court or something and you have like a, uh, for, for an example, say you have a um, like a post score or you know you have a slasher, bronze can be good enough. I'm not sure how well it works on Hall of Fame, but all it does just decreases the chances of you getting blocked. You know a lot of the times when you guys do a pump fake, you get the defender to fly by and you try to go up and you get blocked. Um, this is the badge that helps counteract that, like it'll help you not get blocked off of a pump fake. That's just the way how 2K works. It shouldn't be like that, but that's the way how it works. So um, bronze should be good enough. Um, yeah. Now, quick draw. Have this on Hall of Fame, guys. If you're a shooter build of any sort, you want to have this on Hall of Fame. Um, for shooters, if you're a shooter, anything of that sort, you want to have this on Hall of Fame. Now, if you're a big man um, and you don't get a lot of upgrades, silver quick draw is good enough. So, um, yeah, I'd say for big men, silver quick draw is good enough. And, like, for guards and forwards, uh, uh, Hall of Fame quick draw is good enough. Now, next badge hall of fame ranger standard guy this shouldn't even be a question this is like one of the most important badges to get right away um it just literally uh extends the effectiveness of how well you can shoot from the mid-range and from the three-point line so you wanna you wanna um you know you wanna have this on hall of fame no matter what like unless you're just like a two-way uh slashing playmaker or build you know whatever build you have guys 
get rain extended to the like highest amount possible that's that's what you want to do you want to get it to the highest amount possible now this is a really super underrated badge and i can't wait to get the rest of my badge upgrade so i can use this for you guys slippery off ball when attempting to get open off screens the player more effectively navigates through traffic um now i've tested this badge out a lot earlier in the year on my um two-way three-level facilitator but i haven't tested it out on my sharp yet so i cannot wait to use it on my sharp but um it's up to you guys depending on how many upgrades you have i'd say you guys upgrade the more important badges like green machine quick draw rain extender um catch and shoot difficult those like those badges upgrade those first and then whatever you have left over just use it on um slippery off ball i'm probably going to use it on about gold or hall of fame because i know how well this badge works it helps you get like you speed boost without the ball in your hand and if you're speed boosting away from the defender without having the ball in your hand you're going to get open easily so i'd suggest you use that badge now on to the next badge steady shooter now what this badge does guys it literally um it literally just decreases the effect of an opponent that you know they might be underneath you when you're taking a shot it just makes your shot really effective so you make um contested shots with this badge um if you combine steady shooter along with dead eye um you're gonna be a pretty deadly shooter um you know if you know your release steady shooter is not gonna really affect you that much because what it does decrease the chance of you making an open shot but it heavily increases the chance of you making a contested shot so if you're gonna use it i'd say go hall of fame if you're a good shooter if not low tier then i'd say just go sil about silver um because it'll help you make uh shots like pretty contested but um yeah you know it's not really a, a popular badge as it was when the game first came out but i'm gonna test it out and for my shooter build i think i'm gonna test it out on hall of fame and i'll let you guys know how it works so for shooters you can test it out on hall of fame for you know decent shooters or less upgrades than just use it on silver next up tyler shooter now i haven't used this badge on hall of fame but a lot of people say it's not effective but I'm not gonna say too much about it because I haven't um used it myself really. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like tireless score, it used to be called like last year and previous years, I mean it was it was really not that much of an effective badge. So I wouldn't really say you really have to use this badge anyways, unless you're gonna play in the 2v2 court and you're gonna be running around screens all day long. Hey, give it a go on Hall of Fame if you have enough upgrades. If not, don't use it at all. And last but not least, guys, for the shooting badges volume shooter now this is pretty simple guys you want to use this on the highest tier you possibly can use it on why because simply after a player has taken a small handful of shots an additional boost to shot attributes get given for every subsequent shot whether it's a make or miss so it doesn't matter whether you make or miss guys you get a shot percentage boost um as shot attempts occur throughout the game so that's a badge you want to have on the highest tier um and yeah that's pretty much it man if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss any videos um if you guys want to see me do the most important uh badges on the other um things like finishing playmaking and defensive rebounding just let me know in the comment section down below let me know what uh, videos you guys want to see in the future and um and if you guys want me to rank the um shooting badges like one through ten or just rank them in order i can do that for you guys in another video so yeah like i said um click the links in the description to show your boys some support and leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss any of my uploads it's your boy john ranks and i'm out